Okay, so we're gonna make mint juleps, maybe in the garden, cause it's so pretty out. But the julep cups have not been polished. And so um, we're gonna polish those up first with the silver polish. So it's like derby, it's time to polish your silver. Like Mackenzie said, silver tarnishes so easily. So it's like polish them up and then we'll get started with the rest. But, and honestly, also secondarily from a style perspective, I love julep cups for like everything. Like I put my cheese straws in them. Uh, mint juleps are in them. What else do I put in them? Uh, silverware over there. Oh yeah, I've done silverware. And then we've done flowers too, mm -hmm, right? Flowers. Flowers. So, I mean, I think that they're a great little, so polish them up. We will be back. So we've got like our little Haggerty's polish. You just rub it all over the outside how me and my dad do it and then we just rinse it with water and then like use dawn on it and then buff it out to dry it to tarnish it off with the paper towel somebody's gonna be like oh my god she's a boxer <laughs> but it works for me so i don't really care yeah and then you just buff it out with paper towel like so Basically, you're just like using the paper towel, to, like dry it and like rub it and buff it off. I mean, basically, you did it. You can hear my good like. <laughs> you can do this very obsessively. I'm sure people are so cross. Anyway, this is how we're gonna do it. We've got our three, and honestly, it usually gets a little bit weird on the the bits. You can just see the weird. I have friends that are obsessed with this. Like they like do it when they watch TV. We're not that level. <laughs> we just want it to look like halfway decent. Okay. We're getting closer here to these mint juleps, don't you think? I think they're ready. Okay. Let's go. So we're gonna pick the mint from the garden and originally, uh, well it's Kentucky Colonel Mint. And originally, and I still think it helped, I planted the mint in its nursery pot to like keep it contained. And it's broken out from its bounds a little bit, but it's still more contained than it would be. So anyway, let's go get the mint and then we'll do our mint juleps. Weeding left yet to do. But this is the Kentucky Colonel mint. I just pulled it out by the root. That was not smart, but there's so much of it, it's okay. How much do you think we should get, Mackenzie, for the mint juleps? I think, a, yeah, like a hefty handful is good. Okay, it's all over. Oh, it smells so good. It does smell so good. Well, and this is a great mint. I don't know. So I, I do think people hate it, but I do think mint's a cool thing to have in the garden, especially for us. Because I mean, we're like cocktailing. We, you could have even done like a lamb for Derby. Like mm -hmm. a mint lamb. That's true. I know. Mint, mint, mint. Hi, I'm Alexander, the mischief maker. And today I'm here with Lindsay. He's been roped into this project. And we're <laughs> going to make mint juleps for the Kentucky Derby on Saturday. So let's get started. So what are we going to do? What's first step? Oh, you gotta slap it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then what? We're putting yeah, the oils. Half ounce of, mm -hmm. um, you gotta put the oils all in the glass. Oh, I'm working on it. We're doing it. We're expressing ourselves in oils. Okay. Now this just gets thrown in here, right? Mm -hmm. Mackenzie's leading. You go first. You can do half ounce simple. I'll hold it for you. Yeah. Oh, that good? Yeah. Well, give me half. Okay, so half ounce of simple syrup, which is just one cup water, one cup sugar boiled on the stove until the 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 granules are dissolved. <laughs> okay, what next? Muddle? Oh, so, bourbon? Two ounces. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, bourbon. Let's talk about bourbon. So, we're just going to use this old granddad 101. Or is this, this isn't 101. It's this not is 101. Just, okay, well, okay. there is whatever. You like old granddad, I right? Do. I like old granddad for cocktails, but also you could totally do Woodford Reserve. What else do you think? Straight up. Well, but what other <laughs> bourbon is what I meant. This is just what I've got today. Makers would be great. Bullet. Four De roses. Dealer's choice. You could go fancy with it. You want to get your stuff out. Um, My goodness. Two okay. ounces, right? Yes. Okay. Muddle. All right. You first. muddle, then I'll muddle. And also, let's talk about the ice. So we're going to just use normal, like, crushed ice from the fridge, but also the, the hot cool thing to do, which we didn't do, would be to go to Sonic and go through the drive-thru and get the cool pelleted ice. Or wherever you know, but the only place I know to get the cool pelleted ice when I'm throwing a party is the Sonic drive-thru. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Thank you, Lindsay. How long are we muddling? Not long. You think it's right? It feels kind of right. Okay. Now what? Top with ice? Go on hands. Go hands. Look, that's pretty one. Shouldn't I have a little stir? We'll use these pretty little ones that my friend John gave me. Okay. Stir, stir, stir. And then what? Garnish with a pretty mint sprig? Well, cheers. This is a great... What day is it? Thursday? Thur Thurby. Thurby. Thurby Thursday. Is it Thurby? Mm -hmm. Yep. We're last minute derbying, but I feel like that's just the way. Oh, thank you, Lindsay. Look. I'm gonna play with it too. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, cute. Cheers. Mackenzie, you can just share one. How is it? It's good, good. Oh, wait, wait, let's talk about the mint one more time. So the mint is Kentucky Colonel Mint from the garden. And I do think it's a great all around little mint to grow in your garden if you don't have it. And I feel like if you're going to make a mint julep, Kentucky Colonel Mint makes sense. Do you agree? I don't know if anybody agrees Makes with me. sense to me. Makes sense to me. Cheers. Cheers. It's really good. Do you want to try it? Here, I'll make you one. Okay. 